Yeah, Jim Leonard was going to get a cut of Gia's appearances and stuff. So there, you know, this man collects on a lot, but either way, and I know I'm sure Carrie Ann collected a fee when she helped get the Danos deal for Teresa, which Louis threw in her face and harassed her over it, which is weird. Cause like if Carrie Ann helped with that Danos deal, which by the way, Teresa is no longer with Danos, but if Carrie Ann helped broker that, whether Carrie Ann got a cut or not, Louis should be happy that Carrie Ann helped land a $300,000 tequila deal for his wife. So for, you know, Louie to sit there and say like, oh, who the fuck do you think you are, Carrie Ann? Like, you know, you're not the top bitch here. Sit the fuck down. Like that shows a lot in regards to Louie's character. But you guys have to realize that these people are definitely getting paid good money because I've always asked myself because I've seen it. I've, I've heard it. Louis goes in on Jim Leonard like no other. He rips him a new one every other day on the phone. Even Louie's assistant, Jessica, rips Jim Leonard anyone they go they shout at him they they i mean they humiliate him and i i've always asked like why does he put up with that well of course because he's collecting on that bag so you know he ain't going anywhere he'll take that abuse just like roxanne will never turn on that camp because she's collecting you know on her that sponsors so sounds like a it's miserable it's way so of life yes it sounds absolutely miserable to me but yeah. i have also heard that louis goes off on jim all the time and why i mean is there any way yeah, yeah. go on and i that's what i'm saying and i don't like i don't blame carrie ann or even jim for talking to vanessa because if they genuinely love Teresa and they're concerned i mean forget you know getting back at louis if there is something Vanessa can give them to help Teresa, I'm sure they're going to accept that, you know, advice. Just like with her brother, they're going to try to paint it as like, oh, it was admitted. Like when we see that scene of Jim Leonard telling the cast that it was admitted during Louis' trial, that Margaret Josephs and Joe Gorga were talking to Vanessa. When we see that scene, you guys. Joe Gorga, like they're going to try to paint Joe Gorga as like, oh my God, he was talking to Louis' ex and there's so much drama there. Why would he do that to his sister? He's so cruel. You guys, he was being told things and being shown receipts. He was concerned for his sister. I don't care how anyone wants to wrap it. The man was genuine, and I know they have a rocky history, but he was genuinely concerned for his sister. So that's like if someone close to you, David, you were dating someone and someone close to you says, hey, David, like, I know you don't, you know, want to hear about the person you're dating's ex right now, but from slashing tires to punching someone in the face to this, to that, to this, to that, we're concerned, David. I mean, I genuinely believe, and trust me, I, I dislike Joe Gorga for such a long time, but I personally, now that I see all the facts, I personally believe that Joe Gorga and Margaret Josephs were both talking to Vanessa because they were concerned period and not even for Teresa but maybe for themselves because they're allowing this man to come into the, their vicinity he is now a part of their life so I I know I would want to know who's coming around me and if if they have red flags in their past I'd like to know if it's putting me in jeopardy in any way so I really don't blame them but leave it to Teresa's camp to use Margaret and Joe Gorga talking to Vanessa as a way to weaponize that and use it against them and have the fans harass him for it um, it's just all so twisted and distorted. And again, guys, really quick, like, let me just say, David, that if Teresa's going to sit there on camera and complain that cast members were talking to an ex to attack her family and to, like, make Louie look like shit on TV, Teresa Judice was doing the same thing with John Fuda. She had someone reach out to his ex so she can bring up shit on camera and ruin the man for a storyline. We did that with Brittany. But yet here she is pissed that Margaret and her brother were talking to the ex. Hypocrisy all around. Hypocrisy all around. And is this in the finale? Because Teresa has been saying all season, I'm going to be vindicated. I'm going to be vindicated. That's what she's talking about. That it's going to show that Margaret and Joe Gorga were contacting the ex. And well, she says, this is her vindication. Scene, yeah. Have... Yeah, that's. So that's what she's referring to when she says vindication and we have yet to see it. So we've literally, I think we only got like two episodes left, two or three. I don't even remember what episode we're on, but we've got a couple episodes left. So I say if, if producers use it, we're about to see it either tonight 
or we're going to see it in the following two episodes. And this might come out a week later anyway. Because Teresa so. Cripe indication. Yeah, so we'll we'll see it. Um, I think we're going to see it because it's too big of a scene for them not to show it. But that's what she's meaning when she says vindication. That we're going to, you know, here. Oh, here's another one, David. OMG. So she's screaming vindication because it's going to be admitted on the stand that Margaret Josephs and Joe Gorga were talking to Vanessa. But you know what else was admitted on the stand? That Carrie Ann was talking to Vanessa. And again, again Teresa still works with Carrie Ann. So if she turned a blind eye to that, why isn't she going to turn a blind eye to her brother or Margaret? You know, so it's crazy. Do you think there's any world crazy. in which Louis is like not a bad guy? Like you look at all these, I mean, like everyone can't be wrong, right? You look at all these lawsuits with Vinavia and I can't no, even follow them. I, I will bet my bottom dollar that absolutely Everybody out there, no matter how diehard you are for Teresa or Jen Aiden, if you saw every piece of evidence, every piece against this man, you would know he is literally the walking red flag. That's what he seems like. You would be afraid for her. You, you would be afraid for her. And then, and then realizing the house is not in her name. Nothing right. she owns is in her name. It's all in his name. There is no prenup. Like, uh, she's in a bad situation. And she, you know what's even crazier? Guys? Yeah. You know what's even crazier? She's out, she's out here giving articles, which at this point, I don't even think it's her. I think it's him. And the people that are putting it out are people that work with their camp, like Diana Cooper from The Sun. She just put out an article the other day, you guys. And supposedly Teresa is quoted as saying, she's so lucky to have Louis in her life that he's still sticking around after everything she has subjected him because of her platform. Like she's literally blaming herself for him getting like his own past thrown against him. That is all Louis, you guys. It's crazy the situation she finds herself in. She'll say to like anyone who listens, that's her soulmate. But I think she's in trouble. I think she's in trouble. And I've I've been asked, do you think Bravo's going to fire her after they've been made aware of her leaking screeners and her plotting against the cast and Louis trying to ruin a Walmart deal with Margaret and everything they did with us? Do you think they're going to fire her? I said, if they don't, it will be because they want cameras there on the ready when that whole facade comes crashing down whether the feds are involved because of this man or whether this man himself just does something to her. Like, I think Bravo, if they keep her, will only keep her because they want cameras on the ready to capture that moment. And you know uh, what, you guys? Yeah. I, I, I just want to say this real quick to you, David. I, I worked with Teresa for like so many years. I was her fan for a decade. I have exposed everything. You know, some of it wasn't pretty. It didn't feel good at first until it fully hit me that I was just revealing their truth. So in this whole process of, you know, my journey with Teresa, where I come out at the end is I wish she would just let the truth be free and like she would own it. I wish, you know, nothing but the best for her, but I myself too am in that boat of those people who have been made aware of the truth and fear for her. And I know a lot of people close to her feel that way they're just too scared to say it i mean how like the house is not in your name there's no prenup like here we are again like how could you get yourself in this situation it shocks me it does yeah yeah and you know a lot of people are like don't you hate her look at everything she did to do to ruin john fuda i mean this man's business is probably suffering